Somebody once referred to stained glass as painting with light, and that's really what you are doing. My mom is an artist, and she did a lot of different jobs while I was growing up. She lettered signs, she drew portraits, she painted pictures, and I always knew I wanted to be an artist just like her. I watched her and I learned from her. I started drawing portraits in high school. I went to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, got my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Industrial Design. I used to do commissioned graphite portraits for people and carried that over into diamond etching on granite. The reason why I was so intrigued and really grabbed onto the glass painting is because we went to mass three times a week. I stared at those stained glass windows, thinking about who the artist was who designed those windows, why they chose those colors, why they did this, why they didn't do that. The sunlight would come through the windows so beautifully. I've always wanted to just spread that light that I saw. Tearheart Stained Glass Studio is the studio that I work with in Minnesota. I stopped by one day to get a stained glass window for my parents. I started talking with Gary. I brought in my portfolio and he liked what he saw and said he needed a painter and I had never painted on glass before, had no idea what it entailed. I delved right into the painting and learned a lot on my own. Gary knew some things enough for me to get started. I've been painting for him for about 14 years. I'm still trying to perfect my recipe for colors and process and layering what works best for me for my style. The way it works with us is Gary talks with whoever it is who contacts him. He discusses with me a little bit about where the church is, what they're looking for, how many windows it may be. I do sometimes incorporate the architectural aspects of the church with the window. If they have existing stained glass windows, do they want those to coordinate with the new windows? Gary and I go to the church or the parish and meet with the people. We listen to what they are thinking. Do you want them traditional? Do you want them contemporary? Do you want movement? Do you want it to be inspiring? Do you want images? Do you want symbols? I write down what words they come up with. We want it to be peaceful. We want it to be meditative. We want it to glow or be inspiring, spiritual, nature. They might want something more didactic with the story or Jesus and the apostles. Sometimes I'll do a great design that I just love, but I'll add color to it and it just doesn't look the same to me. So I learned how to design a good window with lines and line work, always thinking of color as I'm designing it. It makes a big difference. Once the illustration is okayed, I get the dimensions of the window, put that in my computer, enlarge my illustration to that size and print out eight and a half by 11 sheets. And then I tape all those pieces of paper together. I have a drawing laying on my table at home. I put my piece of glass on my drawing and do all my trace lines. Those are done with a calligraphy pen and I use oil and the paint is actually a powder and you mix it with a palette knife. I get all my thin lines done and then I fire it. After it's fired, I turn my piece over and I do just a flat mat on the back with water base and the paint, and then it dries and it turns back to powder. So then what you do is you lift the powder off the glass. I usually do stippling, so I have some really soft brushes that I will stipple onto the face and it pulls the powder off. I would fire it after that first mat, my second mat on the back side, I would do all shadowed areas, and then I fire it again. And then I flip it over to my front side and start working on that, and then I fire it, and then I do all my shadowing. I do two layers on the back, four layers on the front. And I just love adding that eye color because I'm working with the face for so long, you just can't wait to put that color in the eyes because it really is what makes them look alive. 
want to be able to inspire them like I was inspired growing up by so many beautiful stained glass windows. I want them to be able to look at the windows I design and see something different every time or feel different if they're not in a good place to be able to look at the window and stare at it and meditate on it and to feel good after looking at it and seeing something beautiful. My art is what makes me tick. My desire to do art, my passion for art, and my faith. Faith in God, but also faith in myself. I believe in myself. I know I've been given a gift. Tear Hart Stained Glass gave me a great opportunity to be able to share that because I can share my faith, I can share the light, I can share my creativity. I love it. Funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.